Morning guys and gals, welcome back to the Snake River EDC channel. Uh, I tell you, it's been freezing cold here. Uh, I mean, it's been, been below freezing temperatures for six weeks at least here, and it doesn't usually stay freezing that long. Anyways, it's a, it's been cold and it makes it hard to go out and do stuff. This is my 15th video, so exciting, hooray. I was working on another video, but that project's not finished yet, so I'll have to post that one later. But uh, anyways, that dang groundhog, he, he saw his shadow, so we got, what, six more weeks of winter. And uh, I think after I finish today's project, maybe I'll have to go out and hunt some groundhogs. Or, ah! or around here, uh, you know, rock chucks is what we got. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, it's the video you've been waiting for, AR series build. Uh, I've got all the parts for the upper. Sorry it took a while, I, you know, shipping and, and uh, had, to find the, had to find what I was looking for in stock. And anyways, plus money, you know, I'm doing this all on my own dime. So had to wait till the, the prices got right. Um, but anyways, we're, we'll just take a look at the parts I bought. Uh, since last time, um, I did uh, go ahead on the, on the lower, on the butt stock, and I did do a paracord wrap, like I said I was going to do there. Um, so I did uh, double cobra. So, I ran a loop, um, melted both ends, stuck it together so I had a loop running, and then I did a cobra braid over the top, and then a second cobra braid to make it a little bit thicker with some camo paracord. Um, I think that just added a lot to it. I also um, uh, put, a, put a drop of Loctite and tightened up that castle nut, um, pinged it a little bit uh, to, to make sure it'll stay good, good and solid there. And anyways, I'll show you the rest of the parts. All right, like I said, this is my 15th video, so I'll probably do another giveaway, so stick around till the end, and then uh, also um, make sure you tune in for that joke of the day. It's always at the end of every video. Um, so excited for this project, uh, my first AR build, and uh, you know, just kind of, as far as my budget goes, went all out on it, and um, I'm excited for how it's coming together, and, and uh, just wanted to show you what I got for the upper. So in the last video, we assembled the lower. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. Um, and it's an aero precision lower, um, Magpul furniture. Um, and I gotta, gotta remember everything. I got this uh, lightweight uh, military spec stock that I really liked, um, but I uh, was worried about it catching on there, so I did a paracord wrap there and it's got the Franklin binary trigger in it. So excited to go try that out and shoot it. Um, so what I went for the upper is a, I, I stuck with arrow precision. Um, so the color scheme would be the same. I did not get the forward assist and some of you guys will maybe be telling me that's a mistake. But um, anyways, I uh, did my research. The original ARs didn't have a forward assist. The only reason they put them on was because the the military requested them because that's what they were used to on their previous firearms. The manufacturer of the AR, the original inventor, said they don't need it. And uh, just from reading the forums and the blogs, I've never used it. And um, a lot of other people are saying it's just added weight. You, do, you don't really need it for the amount of times you're going to use it. Um, so for the barrel, I went Faxon. It's a match series barrel. Um, I went... Uh, which one was this? This is the Gunner Profile 16 inch. And some of you I know said go with the shorter barrel, but um, for what I will most likely be using this for, hunting is, uh, is, is so, I wanted to be able to take it hunting, wanted a little bit longer barrel, get a little bit more accuracy there. Um, this is a 223 wild barrel, so I did uh, pay, pay a little bit extra for that instead of the 556. Um, it's going to hopefully, um, improve the accuracy on 223 ammo. Then also, uh, I just stuck with the Faxon for the bolt carrier group. I looked at the Arrow and some other other bolt carrier groups, the Toolcraft, um, but uh, this one was priced good, made in America, thought it, thought it would work. Uh, for the handguard, um, I went with AT3 Tactical. Uh, they had it in flat dark earth, it's aluminum, it had what I wanted, 15 inch handguard. Um, full uh, full Picatani on the top and um, just free free floating very nice uh, handguard feels good feels lightweight I'm excited to throw that on also made in the USA so 
I don't I don't know much else about it, but it, it looked good and it, it met my specs that I was looking for. Um, for the um, rest of the furniture, most of it is strike. Well, I did get an aero precision gas block, um, low profile, and then also the uh, gas, um, gas tubing there. Um, the rest of the stuff is strike. Um, you know, it was, it was affordably priced. I've not used a lot of strike. Like I said, strike industries uh, made in Santa Ana, California, it says. So I'm um, excited to try this out. This one is a fully ambidextrous charging handle, uh, but it's strike, uh, or sorry, uh, latchless. So I was interested to try that out a latchless handle. I, there was some good reviews and some little bit mixed reviews, but uh, I've got another charging handle I can throw on if I don't like this more of an older. Uh, you know, traditional non-ambidextrous. Um, strike, I also, they also made a, uh, you know, an over-molded dust cover there, so I bought that. Um, I got the, a King Compensator from them. Uh, this thing looks pretty cool, feels pretty sturdy. Um, we'll see how it works at, on the end of the barrel. Um, but it had, it had awesome reviews, and so I'm excited to try it out cool looking uh, muzzle device there what else so you saw in the video um, where I went to the gun show that's where I bought this uh, for full grip hand stop it's strike also um, aircraft aluminum and then I bought this uh, Osprey yeah, you know they said they got their lenses out of Japan but this is uh, obviously made in China it says right on it but it has uh, has pretty good, looks like it has pretty good glass on it. And it's got both red and green um, reticles there. Uh, I thought I saw it for a second, there it is. So, um, five different brightnesses. I think it'll work just fine for what I'm doing. Again, in the, in the budget range, so. That's what it is, excited to put it together. Uh, I'm gonna take, uh, take some time today and throw this together and then I'll show you the finished product. Later. All right, well, we're ready to rock and roll. We got it uh, thrown together. The upper did uh, come together a lot easier than, um, than the lower. But uh, if, a lame, if a lame guy can, like me can do it, pretty much uh, anybody can. Anyways, uh, we got it got it thrown together. There, I did run into one problem. Um, that Aero Precision gas block I bought uh, did not fit the Faxon Gunner profile uh, barrel that I bought. So that's my bad for taking the recommended uh, one in the shopping cart rather than, than double checking the measurements. But uh, so this does not have the gas block installed. So it is not ready to fire yet. Uh, I've got to order another part uh, that will actually fit and uh, take take the hand guard off and, and, and install the, the gas block. But other than that, I wanted to throw it together so you guys could see what it what it's going to look like. Um, next video, we'll we'll take it out and shoot it. Um, really digging it, um, liking the functionality, liking the look of the flat dark earth with the black accents. Um, just really, really excited about it. So, uh, but before we go, um, I do, uh, want to, uh, talk about a giveaway. I've got this Kershaw camp kit I picked up during the holidays. It's got a knife, a little multi-tool, a couple spoons slash forks and a fire starter. So I'm going to be giving this away. So um, how we'll do this giveaway is if uh, if you're interested in this, uh, post a picture of your AR build in the comments. And uh, over the next uh, 30 days, I'll look and, and whichever one's my favorite, I'll comment on your post, um, your comment uh, with my email address. So you can send me your shipping address and I'll send you this Kershaw outdoor camp kit. So. And then for your joke of the day, uh, since I know some of you, that's the only reason you watch my channel. Um, so there's this uh, old cowboy from Texas. He's flying on a 
on an airplane. It's one of those where you can't pick your seat, can't pick who you're sitting next to. And uh, in comes a, an old timey Baptist minister and sits down next to next to this cowboy. And uh, the stewardess comes comes by and uh, asks them if they'd like something to drink. And the cowboy, he's like, oh, who says, oh, give me a gin and rum. And the stewardess uh, says, okay. And she turns to the, the Baptist minister and she says, would you like anything to drink, sir? And he says, I would rather be tied up and taken advantage of by women of ill repute than let liquor touch my lips. And the cowboy quickly set, hands his drink back and says, me too. I didn't know we had a choice. <laughs>